Hi everyone, this is uh, part 19 of my DVD collection, uh, military movies. So let's get started. Up first we got Basic, uh, 2003 film with John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson. Not a bad movie. Up next we got Behind Enemy Lines, Owen Wilson, Gene Hackman. It's alright, uh, not great though. Next we got Broken Arrow, uh, John Travolta and Christian Slater. This is a cool film. I saw it at a drive-in theater in 1996. It was a double feature with uh, Independence Day when that came out. Uh, Crimson Tide, great uh, submarine movie from 1995 with uh, Denzel Washington and Gene Hackman. Tony Scott film. Uh, the Delta Force, classic Chuck Norris, Lee Marvin film. This is a good movie, it's probably my favorite Chuck Norris film. A Few Good Men, classic, obviously, special edition, Tom Cruise, Jack Nicholson, Demi Moore. Uh, Hearts War, good movie with Bruce Willis and Colin Farrell from uh, 2002. And The Hunt for Red October, special collector's edition, uh, Sean Connery, Alec Baldwin, the first movie uh, based on the Tom Clancy books. Came out in 1990. This is one of my all time favorite films. I love this movie. Something about the last. 30 minutes of this film was just brilliant, I think. The, the way they stage everything and the, the tension that builds up in this movie, and it's just a great film. Whenever it's on TV, I always watch it. Uh, this one's kind of stuck. Uh, K-19, The Widowmaker, uh, Harrison Ford and Liam Neeson playing Russians with uh, British accents, always a good time. <laughs> it's actually a pretty decent little movie. Uh, I think it's Catherine Bigelow who directed this as well. Yeah, that's right. A uh, film from 2002. Next we got The Last Castle with uh, Robert Redford. Um, with uh, and James Gandolfini, Mar Mark Ruffalo, and Delroy Lindo. Uh, decent film uh, from 2001 about a military prison. Next we got Men of Honor, uh, Robert De Niro and Cuba Gooding Jr. Special edition. Good movie about uh, Navy divers. Up next we got Missing in Action, Chuck Norris, uh, 1984 classic. And I also have the sequels, which aren't as good. It's a double feature, Missing Action 2, The Beginning, and Missing Action 3, Braddock. But I always call it Braddock, because the, the villain always yells his name like that. It's kind of funny. But, there you go with the Missing in Action trilogy. Up next we got An Officer and the Gentleman. Not really an action film, but a uh, great movie with Richard Gere and Deborah Winger and uh, Louis Gossett Jr. Uh, 1982 film, Special Collector's Edition. Up next we got Outbreak, um, Morgan Freeman, Dustin Hoffman, Rene Russo. This is a great film from 1995. Of course it's more about uh, an Ebola outbreak in, uh, in California, but it's a great 
movie about the military as well. Their involvement in a in one of these uh, health scares. It's just a great movie. <laughs> Up next, we got Proof of Life, uh, Meg Ryan, Russell Crowe. Um, yeah, he's like a hostage ne negotiator. Meg Ryan's husband ends up being captured by uh, guerrillas in some South American country. Uh, Rules of Engagement, good movie with Samuel L. Jackson and Tommy Lee Jones from uh, 2000. Stripes, classic Bill Murray, 1981 film, extended cut. Taps, this is a great film from the 80s with uh, George C. Scott, Timothy Hutton, Tom Cruise, and uh, Sean Penn. It's one of Tom Cruise's early, earliest roles. He's pretty psycho in this movie too. It's about this uh, military school for young cadets that they uh, take take hold of after their commanding officer like leaves or something. This is a cool movie. Uh, Tears of the Sun, great film with Bruce Willis and uh, Monica Bellucci. The uh, director's extended cut. The best military thriller since Black Hawk Down. That's a good way to put it. And finally, classic, Top Gun. This is the reason I loved Kelly McGillis when I was a kid. Uh, I've, I've seen this like a hundred times. I used to watch it all the time in the late 80s after it came out. I know it's kind of gotten a, a weird rap <laughs> over the years because of the volleyball scene, but... It's a cool movie, and it's the movie that made Tom Cruise a star, really. Widescreen Special Collector's Edition. So that's it for military. Up next, I will be doing my music section, which is uh, musicals and movies about music. So stay tuned for that. See you soon.